issues dear sir dear students i welcome you for the today's lecture related to the designing of saddle support and its numerical basically this saddle support that is uh, applicable for horizontal vessels the vessel alignment which is either vertical or horizontal and this uh, saddle support that is used for horizontal vessels now in general case the two supports they are used like a saddle shape so this uh, curvature will be there so if you will look at this uh, side section this is the side view of a vessel and uh, its uh, bottom you have been putted with the different material by concrete as well as the steel and this is all supported with the help of a concrete foundation so this is the saddle support and in general case two supports they are provided one and the two generally but uh, if the lengths are uh, much higher uh, then you can use more than two supports also and this can be very easily and conveniently seen around the pipeline along the road side the huge pipelines which are there are uh, along the road side you can see the different saddle supports with such pipelines very frequently and now this is uh, the when you do the analysis stress analysis based on that uh, it is simply a simply supported beam so that the beam will be there and at this two beam the two supports or the two reactions that will be exerting so already you know the bending moment diagram for uh, this type of the arrangement that is the at the center and at the midpoint at the midpoint it is the bending moment curve will be like this and similarly on the another side also it is at the minimum and then it is going to have the different bending moment so this bending moment diagram that is of importance now if we look at this bending moment diagram there is the m1 which is the bending moment at the center of the vessel bending moment at the center of the vessel and m2 that is the bending moment at the support at the support so this bending moment at the support that will be there then uh, there is a q that is mentioned q is nothing but a reaction that is the weight of the vessel is assumed to be acting completely in a downward direction so total weight of the vessel that is to be balanced by these two supports so that is what the reaction will be exerted by these two supports so q that is nothing but w upon 2 that is to be taken so total weight that is completely balanced by so complete weight of the vessel that will be balanced by these two different supports and uh, the reaction that will be exerted q is nothing but the reaction that is exerted at the two supports means total weight weight of the vessel is distributed or balanced compensated by these two supports which is exerting the q and uh, r is the radius of the vessel and this is called the horn of the saddle horn of the 
saddle. So this section of the saddle that is called as the horn of the saddle. If we will look at uh, these uh, end figures also, the saddle that will be there, uh, that this is the vessel and uh, to this vessel a certain excess metal strip that is a backing plate that can be also welded now in this case this uh, excess metal strip or the backing plate that is already provided so this uh, metal vessel wall and the backing plate or the stiffening plate also this plate that is also called as the stiffening plate now the total weight of the vessel that will be on the stiffening plate and this uh, concrete foundation that will be also exerting the counterbalance force in between that plate. So this plate that will be in compression. So this plate will be in compression. Compressive stresses that will be exerted on this plate. So one by one, we will see the different reactions. Then the L is the total length of the vessel and H is the height of the head. So head that will be having a height H. So two heads are there. B is the width of the saddle and A is the center distance distance from the center of the saddle to the tangent length m1 is the bending moment at the center m2 bending moment at the center of the support q is the reaction because of the support a is the center distance that is the distance of the saddle center line from the shell end from the shell end to the saddle center line this is the shell end to the center line that is the A. L is the length. H is the height of the head. So one has to remember all these notations. So one by one coming to the designing of this vessel. Uh, in order to calculate the reaction and the two saddle support, the weight of the weight of the vessel with the contents has to be calculated. So, for a hemispherical or elliptical head, it can be treated as an equivalent cylinder having the total length equal to L plus 4 upon 3 H. Now, 4 upon 3 H, that is nothing but uh, there are two supports are there into two third the height. Generally for bending moment, anything which is varying in proportion, we are taking the resultant or the effective bending moment at the two-thirds from the center, from the bottommost section. So similarly here the height that is taken as the two-third H into the two supports are there. So, the equivalent length that is taken as L plus 4 upon 3 H 
h is the depth of the dish head now the weight of the vessel is assumed to act through the center of the vessel by considering it as uniformly loaded beam that is what a beam we are considering and which is uniformly distributed so the reaction and the saddle support will be there so q is the reaction and the saddle support which is w by 2 into the l plus 4 upon 3 h so some Uh, then the bending moment induced at the support and the center of the vessel bending moment induced at the center and the support of the vessel so bending moment at the center that means we have already seen it in the figure i suppose you have drawn it at the center line so this is the center line and this is the center line at the support so this is the bending moment at the center line that is nothing but m1 so m1 is nothing but q into the l that is the length the straight length l the straight length l then r that is the radius and h is the depth h is the depth generally this h that can be the 1/4 the vessel diameter h that is 1/4 the vessel diameter and a is the center distance from the saddle support center to the uh, distance of the saddle center line from the shell end so this is the a that will be there so by using this bending moment formula you will be able to calculate the bending moment at the center similarly the bending moment at the support that is q into a into bracket 1 minus 1 minus a upon l plus r square minus h square upon 2 al upon 1 plus 4 upon 3 hl so this is the calculation related to the bending moment m1 which is calculated at the center and at the support then uh, generally we have already done that is first we are calculating the weight load then we are calculating the bending moment and then we are calculating the stresses because of that weight so first load calculations then bending moment calculations and then the stresses calculation that is why we have first calculated the load q the reaction at each saddle support that we have already calculated then the bending moment that is to be calculated and then the stresses that is to be calculated now the stresses as this is a horizontal vessel the stresses that will be developed uh, in the different sections will be different so first we will consider the longitudinal Uh, or the axial stresses and then we will consider the circumferential stresses also so there are the three different uh, situations or three different positions for which we are going to calculate the stresses that is uh, one is longitudinal stresses and second is the tangential stresses now in this longitudinal stresses we are calculating it at the highest point 
of the vessel then at the bottom most point of the vessel and then at the central line of the vessel so this uh, at three different points we are calculating the longitudinal stresses or the axial stresses that is the highest point of the cross section this is the highest point of the cross section yahan pe jab aap cut karoge vertically cut karoge to is horizontal metal mein kya stresses affect hogi because of the longitudinal action that is to be calculated so f1 is the longitudinal stresses at the highest point and this incorporates the value of m2 that is the bending moment at the center so m2 upon m upon z that is our basic formula so z is nothing but pi by 4 do square into the t the same formula is applicable everywhere pi by 4 d square into the t z value the same we have used in case of the bracket support same we have used in case of the saddle support also so this pi by 4 d square into t that will be there and here in all formulas also this pi by 4 d square into the t that will be the same only writing difference may be 4 upon pi Uh, m1 4 upon pi d square t this can be written also so this uh, f1 that is the longitudinal stresses at the highest point of the cross section so highest point of the cross section is point pe jo calculate ho rahi hai bending moment m2 ke karan which is affecting at the center uh, so it is the 4 times m2 into the k1 pi d square into the t for k1 k2 k3 they are your constants and that depends on the angle theta so here the angle that is uh, mentioned and this angle that can be around 130 120 or around 150 generally and for this uh, the k1 and k2 uh, all the constants will have the different values depending on this uh, angle of a contact this is nothing but the angle of contact with uh, the saddle basic uh, then the longitudinal uh, stresses at the cross section so this is the bottom most cross section bottom most cross section this is the highest point of the cross section highest point of the cross section that incorporates the m2 the bottom most that incorporates the m1 rest of the formula is same this is m1 upon pi by 4 d square into t into the k2 similarly the f3 that is the longitudinal stresses induced at the mid span of the vessel at the mid span of the vessel so this is uh, f3 which is 4 times m1 upon pi d square into t this is also same m1 upon pi by 4 d square into t however this does not incorporate the value of k3 only k1 and k2 that will be there related to the f1 and f2 uh, this is for a shale stiffened by the head or the ring k1 k2 values will be equals to the 1 and for shale not stiffened by the heads or the rings that means the stiffening ring whether that is provided or not depending on that this k1 and k2 will have the different values for the shell stiffened by the head or the ring k1 and k2 will have the value of 1 this is nothing but your stiffening ring which provides the extra support or extra strength ye jo extra metal that is provided that is called the stiffening ring 
or it is also called as the backing ring and this backing ring that will be in compression because of the weight of the vessel and from bottom uh, the, it is on the resting on the saddle so this will be in compression this backing ring now the stresses induced at the mid span of the vessel that is f3 which is equal to 4 uh, m1 upon pi by 4 d square into t uh, these are all your uh, f1 f2 and f3 these are all your longitudinal stresses and these longitudinal stresses they are calculated at the highest point the bottom most point and the mid span point this is nothing but the mid span of the vessel so uh, my longitudinal or axial stresses longitudinal stresses are of are calculated at the three different points that is at the highest point then at the bottommost point at the bottommost point and at the mid span mid span so this longitudinal stresses they are calculated at the three different points at the highest point at the bottommost and at the mid span now similarly this tangential stresses they are also to be calculated they are calculated at the support at the shell and at the head this tangential stresses they are again of the three different points that is at the support at the support at the shell and at the head so this tangential stresses two types of stresses we are calculating longitudinal stresses or the axial stresses and the tangential stresses or circumferential stresses or the hope stresses we are calculating so all these six different stresses with the support of two bending moment the bending moment that is at the center and bending moment at the support and at the center so these two bending moments and the calculation of the stresses at six different points that is to be calculated and then all these longitudinal stresses that is to be uh, taken care uh, and they should not be more than your permissible stresses of the material so longitudinal summation of all these stresses that is uh, at the highest point at the bottommost point and at the midpoint plus because of the internal pressure also there are the stresses so all these four different types of the longitudinal stresses that is to be added and has to be compared with the permissible stresses of the material permissible longitudinal stresses of the material uh, the next is your tangential stresses so tangential stresses calculations that is uh, shell is uh, not stiffened that is they uh, carry the tangential stresses arising from the supported uh, pa pan of the shell so this is the f4 f5 and f6 that is at the three different parts uh, that is the f4 that is nothing but uh, at the support so at the support f4 that is calculated as q uh, k3 into q upon rt into l minus 2a minus h upon l plus h where k3 is having the value of 1.17 if the theta is 120 degrees and k3 will be 0.8 for the theta is equal to 150 degrees then 
the maximum tangential stresses are arising from the unsupported part of the shell that is in the cylindrical shell and in the head so these two parts also that will be affected the different stress values and that is the f5 which is the stresses in the cylindrical shell so k3 into q upon rt r is the radius and t is the vessel thickness so q upon rt into k3 similarly f6 that is the stresses in the head that is to be calculated that is k4 into q upon rt k4 into q upon rt so k3 and k4 values that is going to change now for this the k3 is uh, having the values of 0.8 h for 120 degrees and k4.4 for 120 degrees for k3 0.485 for 150 degrees and similarly k4.4.3 that is uh, point uh, for theta is equal to 150 degrees so these are the stress calculations first we have calculated the reaction and the load at the two supports then we have calculated the bending moment at the center and at the support then we have calculated the stresses one is the longitudinal stresses second is the circumferential or tangential stresses the longitudinal stresses are calculated at three different points that is at the highest point at the bottom most point and at the mid span of the vessel similarly the tangential stresses or circumferential stresses they are also calculated at the support at the shell and at the head so this is the designing part then the stiffening rings stiffening rings is welded to the shell over the saddle this uh, alleviates the load on the shell stresses so that is the distributed if the strength of the shell is insufficient then the stiffener plates they are also added so this stiffener plates they are also added and uh, it's a uh, stresses that will be in compression so because of the q reaction uh, downward reaction or you can say the weight and which is getting compensated or resisted by the saddles bottommost saddle so k7 into q upon ar plus minus k8 into qr upon z where z is the cross sectional area of the stiffening ring so this k7 and k8 will also have the different values so all these are uh, your different uh, stress calculations now based on this we are going to have the numerical based on that So let us uh, look at uh, this problem. The horizontal vessel has 1.8 meter diameter and 8 meter tangent to tangent length. So uh, the length of the vessel and the diameter of the vessel that is 
mentioned horizontal vessel 1.8 meter diameter and 8 meter tangent to tangent length that is also mentioned then the vessel has elliptical heads uh, with major axis to minor axis ratio of 2.0 generally we are using uh, the major axis to minor axis ratio that is 2 and the pressure inside the vessel that is 1.5 kgs per centimeter square this is what is mentioned uh, then the shell thickness shell thickness is 8 millimeter while the thickness of the head is 10 millimeter there is thickness shell thickness is different and the head thickness is also different so in this case the shell thickness is 8 millimeter while the head thickness is 10 millimeter then the permissible stresses of the material is 1060 kgs per centimeter square then the weight of the vessel with on its content is 21500 now this weight of the vessel that is to be taken as the reaction at two different support the same weight of the vessel that is to be balanced or compensated by the two supports so q that will be having the value of w by 2 in this case so 21500 divided by the 2 that comes as 10750 then the distance of the saddle center line from the shell is 380 So this is the diameter, vessel diameter that is mentioned as 1.8 meter. Then the two saddle supports which are provided here the length L that is also length A that is also mentioned as the 380 millimeter. Calculate the bending stresses induced and the stresses induced in the vessel bending moment induced and the stresses induced in the vessel so we have to calculate the m1 and m2 and here we are going to calculate the only the longitudinal stresses we are going to calculate you can also calculate the circumferential stresses or the tangential stresses based on this data also uh, and uh, one another assumption in this case that is uh, the depth of the head is considered to be the one fourth the height of uh, one fourth the diameter of the vessel so 1.8 meter that is the diameter of the vessel so depth of the head that is the 1.8 divided by the 4 which comes as the 0.45 meter then uh, the weight of the fluid in the vessel can be considered as unit